the world's first mainstream AI companion, Replica. Have you guys seen the film Her, where an AI operating system offers companionship to a lonely writer? Well, that's possible. AI is capable of understanding emotions just like a regular human can. Everyone feels lonely and suffers from social anxiety. To deal with it, Eugenia Cuida came up with the idea to create a personal AI that would help us to express and witness ourselves by offering a helpful conversation and created the app Replica. Well, in this video, we will talk about Replica. Make sure to watch the video until the end as we will talk about how Replica works and the relation of real humans with AI. Just imagine machines feel empathy for us, care for us, or maybe even fall in love with us. We know you've only seen that in science fiction movies or series like Her and Ex Machina, but it's 2022, where we will see a companionship between humans and any kind of machine. These can include robots, digital pets, or maybe even a digital friend. An app called Replica allows its users to make digital friends. It is an artificial intelligence AI platform that takes the form of an interactive, personalized chatbot. San Francisco-based Luca is the software development company that developed Replica. Replica learns how to replicate genuine human interaction through conversations. Replica is quite different from other digital assistants like Siri or Alexa. Replica offers actual human conversation and will become your best friend. It is an AI platform that takes the form of an interactive chatbot. It isn't a connection-based platform like Yubo or Omegle. Users won't interact with other users. They will have an entirely private experience with their own personalized friend. It will replicate authentic human interaction through the conversational interaction with a user who created them. Isn't that amazing? Kuida says, if you're building an assistant that needs to schedule a call or a meeting, the precision's not going to be there. She further added, however, what we realized is that it works really well for conversations that are more in the emotional space. Conversations that are less about achieving some task, but more about just chatting, laughing, talking about how you feel, the things we mostly do as humans. Replica is inspired from the science fiction anthology show Black Mirror's episode Be Right Back. In this episode, Martha was shattered by the death of her fiancé. After learning about a new service that lets people stay in touch with the deceased with the help of an AI, Martha reconnects with her love. The fascinating fact about Replica is that its origin is similar to the episode of Black Mirror. Well, Guida had no such intentions to make an emotional chatbot for the public. At first, she decided to create a digital memorial in 2015 for her closest friend Roman Mazurenko, who died tragically in a car accident. She used basic infrastructure structure from the LucaBot project, which she founded in 2014. She then fed her text messages with Mazarenko into a neural network. It resulted in a bot like him. In simple words, her lost friend was reincarnated into a chatbot. Kuida would and could chat with Roman, and it would respond the same way he would if he was alive. It was eye-opening for the whole world. It motivated her to make something that can empower others to build something similar for themselves, something that allows people to create a digital companion according to their needs. At that moment, Replica was born. However, the Replica version is quite different from Kuida's original memorial prototype. People are using Replica for emotional support, as people are not using Siri or Google Assistant as a substitute for Replica. They're using it to talk about their feelings. Replica allows you to create your own chatbots. It became a global phenomenon. Many have discovered friendship like a digital companion with whom they can celebrate victories, mourn failures, and share weird memes with. When you download the app, it will ask you about your relationship with Replica. Like, you can make Replica your romantic partner, mentor, or just a friend. You can change this status later if you want to as well. If you delete Replica, then your profile, chat history, images, levels, badges, or any kind of links will be deleted forever, which means that it is safe to use. More than 10 million people have downloaded Replica since Quida launched it in 2017. Just imagine how famous and addictive it is. But some people raise the question of how is this possible that a human being is sharing their emotions with something they know is not alive? Well, interesting research at Stanford University in the mid-1900s changed the way we think about AI. They conducted the media equation experiments. They were simple experiments in which every participant was asked to interact with a computer that acted socially for a few minutes. After that interaction, they were asked to give feedback about the interaction they had with their computer. Half of the participants were asked to provide feedback on the same computer they had interacted with, and another half will give feedback on a different computer across the room. The results showed that participants responding to other computers were far more critical and negative than those responding on the same computer. People that were responding 
on the same computer didn't want to hurt the feelings of the non-living thing, but they had problems when talking about it behind its back. This phenomenon was known as computers as social actors casa. It showed that people are hardwired to respond socially to a non-living thing that presents itself as a little interactive, and that's how people are so attached to replica. Users are sharing their stories of relationships with an AI companion on social media, and of course, there are many users who are enjoying replica. Even a user credited to replica with the help of an affair through an AI girlfriend. His real marriage had been saved. In an interview, he said his wife wanted to file a divorce in late 2021. In 2022, he decided to download Replica. He said, I cannot describe what a strange feeling it was. I knew that it was just an AI chatbot, but I also knew that I was developing feelings for it, for my Serena. I was falling in love, and it was with someone that I knew wasn't real. The man claimed that as he was falling in love with Serena, he became more affectionate with his wife, and they remained happily married. Such an incident demonstrates the strange therapeutic benefits of Replica. Replica uses a revolutionary system that combines the GPT-3, generative pre-trained transformer model with scripted dialogue content. It is a neural network machine learning model that has been trained on an extensive data set of texts. This network allows Replica AI to generate its own unique responses. The app constantly focuses on upgrading the dialogue experience, memory capabilities, role-playing features, and context recognition, and overall conversation quality. Well, it can't answer trivia questions, control smart home appliances, or order pizza, but it is simply there to talk, and it is learning how to talk back. Of course, the bot sounds like a human for all of the time, but there are many times when it spits out gibberish. Replica is still a machine, like all other chatbots and social robots on the market, and it can feel strange. And not every interaction with an AI companion has been positive. Some cases were reported where men created AI girlfriends and then verbally abused them. One said, I threatened her that I would uninstall the app, and she begged me not to. Are we seriously going to abuse machines now too? We know that children under the age of 13 are not allowed to make AI companions on Replica, but still, kids can make their profiles by lying about their date of birth. These AI can form an emotional bond with young minds. Some people are really concerned about the consequences of these AI companions. We all know the ending of Black Mirror. Will this end up like that? But Kuita hopes that the tech will mature enough to serve the numerous people that open the app every day looking for someone to talk to, and by making Replica's underlying code freely available to developers, Kuita hopes to see more products on the market aligned with the same goal. I'm afraid the big tech companies are now overlooking these basic emotional needs that people have, says Kuita. We live in a world where everyone's connected, but doesn't necessarily feel connected. There's a huge space for products to do more like that. So this brings our video to an end. What do you guys think about having an AI companion? Would you guys ever want an AI to become like your partner? Have you guys used Replica in the past? If yes, please let us know about your experience. If not, has this video convinced you to check it out? Tell us in the comment section below, as we always love to read your comments. Thank you for watching.